Well, hello there. <coughs> Not the greeting I planned. Hello there. It's Monday. And I'm going to see Phil in a minute. In about 15 minutes. Just waiting for Prem to get home so I can get over there to Meta Evolution. So he's going to do some assessments. I think he's going to look at my, you know, obviously my weight, look at how much fat's on my body. And I don't know, I mean, I've never had this kind of assessment before, so we'll wait and see what, what we get. I wouldn't say I was nervous, but now I'm thinking about it more because we're closer to it. I'm starting to wonder just how much percentage of my body is fat. <laughs> I'm not overly anxious about what that might be, but I think I'm a bit more anxious than I thought I would be. Because looking at myself on some of the vlogs I've done lately, and I'm looking a little bit rotund. Anyway, you never know till you go. So, I'm gonna go. I'll let you know. Hey, I'm good, how are you? Good, yeah, thank God. Good. Well, all of it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cut this out. Alright. So this is going to be a date, is that alright? Is it? Yeah, we're getting right in there. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Cool, um, and I do need you to drop your trousers. Have you got pants <laughs> on underneath? Yes, I have. Cool yeah. stuff. Okay. Every day. Sweet. So what did we learn? Body fat is at 29% at the moment. 29%? Yeah. The results are in. I'm 29% body fat. That's nearly a third. So 29% body fat, but that's good because now you know exactly where you are and where we would need to be, okay. essentially, okay? Because if we're looking at those um, smaller chunkable results, if we can make it moderate rather than going hell for ever, then we'll be able to see that gradually coming down, okay? Yeah. And if you can get to less body fat than Andy, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> Where's he at? <laughs> Uh, kind of confidentiality, mate. I'll tell you that in a moment. <laughs> well, he tells us every time he goes back to the office, <laughs> anyway. I am 29% body fat. Yeah, 29%. I mean, when he, when he said 29%, I thought that's nearly a third. And then I realised it's also only just over a quarter. Is that supposed to make myself feel better? Oh, no, 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 you're not, you're not a third fat. You're really just over a quarter fat. So if I was divided into four boxes, one of those boxes, plus a sizable chunk of the next box, would just be fat. Okay, so I'm gonna get on the tummy next. Everyone's favorite. That's not good. So we've set goals. My goal is to lose 2% a month. Um, cutting my calories, my daily intake of calories down to 2,200 a day, working out three times a week, um, and the aim there is to, to lose 2% body fat a month, which means that, hope, I mean, if, it, if it's consistent, um, then in about 10 months' time, I will be around that 10 to 12% body fat mark. There we are at the moment, okay? Yeah. So, like that b look is probably going to be sub 10%. Which is what I'm aiming for. If, as Phil says, you have a good month, you might lose 25 to 3%. So, it can vary. What he said was, I'm going to track all my food in my fitness pal app on my phone, no problem. I need to eat 40% carbs, 30% protein, and the rest is just. I don't know what the rest is made up of, everything else, I suppose. So there's like 20% body fat to lose, essentially, which is a two ball. And that's where we're at, that's what we're gonna do. It was really good. I must admit, it was, it was almost like having, a, <laughs> I hope Phil forgives me for this, I don't mean it in a negative way. It was almost like having a therapy session. You kind of get really deep and, yeah, you really get into the nitty gritty of who you are and what motivates you and where you want to be and what your weaknesses are and what your strengths are and 
it's quite a soul searching thing to do, I'm going to be assessed. I should have done this at the beginning of this endeavor because I'm actually 103.3 kilos. And I believe that's a few kilos heavier than I was when I started this. Every journey is a journey though, isn't it? Even if you set off in the wrong direction, you still set off. I've got three I wills. And those I wills are, I will keep alcohol out the house and stop drinking in the week and just treat myself to a beer or two slash glass of wine on a Saturday night. Anyone who knows me knows that I like a drink. That's gonna be the toughest, the toughest one to, to adapt to. I'm not trying to play the, you know, I'm not going for any sympathy here. I'm just being honest. That's just, that's just how it is. The second one is I will work out three times a week and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get up tomorrow. I'm gonna work out. And the third one is I'm going to um, <clears throat> plan and prepare my meals better so that when I'm at work, for example, and I haven't brought lunch in, I don't just go, uh, chicken shop or uh, pasty. Instead, the lunch is there, I've got it. So that's what I'm gonna eat. I feel that I will, I've derailed myself um, quite early on in this process. And now I feel like I'm back on track.